something like that um, I just never was someone that wanted to be in front of the camera but lately I am feeling a little more comfortable in my skin I do want to explore this YouTube world and see where it could take me I'm very passionate about makeup so today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this um, summery I don't know it's like a summer dream type look it's very glowy very tropical kind of sunset colors I got the lashes on mm, lips is on fleek mm, mm, the nails is popping beautiful. and beautiful this is my daughter Navi which I introduced her later on in the video um, but here she is again and um, so yeah so welcome to my YouTube channel please subscribe uh, I intend to do a lot more of these and I intend to be very consistent with it and here's my support system <laughs> and um, Aiden actually has his own channel but we'll talk about that at a different time so tune in um, and let's just get straight into it this right here is my I'm blind, so I can't really see the color, but um, it's pretty dark. Oh no, we're gonna shape these bad boys. brush from MAC. I don't remember. This is so old. This is older than my kids. Um, but hey, it was definitely worth the investment because here I am a decade later using the same brush. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Let's clean it up. or 252 MAC brush and I'm just kind of buffing it out so it doesn't look so boorish. Okay, eyeshadow primer. Yes. Um, so I had like three of these tubes and they lasted me like four years and I recently bought this one and I guess it comes with a wand now and before it was just a squeeze tube i'm not sure if i'm here for the wand but i mean it is what it is i have to use it right so i'm gonna prime my eyelids with this urban decay eyeshadow primer and the purpose for this is to stop your eyeshadow from creasing to have it there uh to have it last for the entire day um to get the true pigment of the color a lot of times eyeshadows and powders don't have anything to adhere to and so you don't really get like that true bright payoff that you want so an eyeshadow primer takes care of that and instead of using foundation or concealer you want to use an eyeshadow primer because all the other stuff unless it's waterproof it's gonna crease so, but this doesn't now unless you OD and put a whole bunch of product of this on your eyelid then it's gonna crease so a little goes a long way boom my eyelids are prime it's time for some shadow all right so 
I was on a cruise last week and I did this eyeshadow look and I just loved it. So I want to recreate it. Pat McGrath, what is this called? Cyber Clear. Pat McGrath, Cyber Clear. Alright, so I got some here. <laughs> Every time I dip my brush in here and then go to my eyelid, I have to wipe it off because I don't want that gel residue on my eyeshadow. Kind of annoying, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna really pack some on this brush. And we're gonna, we're gonna get into it. Jacob's eyeshadow blending brush. I don't know if it has a number or a name. I don't know, but I was freelancing for them last year, and um, these are one of the things that I ended up picking up. And I'm going to use this um, Fetish Kat Von D palette that has these amazing highlighters and these matte shadows here, and I'm going to use this one. And that one is called Salem so because I have all this gloss on here it's not that easy to um, to blend when you have um, this sticky this sticky canvas I guess but um so very light pressure and I'm gonna do a little bit at a time so I'm not gonna pack it in and then not, I mean literally like just and that's it
so a little right here boom 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 and um i don't know maybe for like the last six months i've been um applying my foundation with my hands i just feel like i get a more natural finish this way i do honestly yes secretly but honestly no more secrets is where I use my golden. Then I take deep, which is a little darker, and I kind of start contouring and warming up my face with this. Next, I take this NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in Deep Golden which is much darker than me. And it's kind of like this warm undertone to it. And it just makes me feel sunny kiss. So I do this like on the outside of my face, you know, this, this three that people be saying to do with bronzer. Yeah, that's where I put it. NYX matte bronzer and that's what I really contour this one's a little bit muddier it's not as warm as the other one but that's cool because I'm trying to create shadow here I'm trying to create some depth in these cheekbones <laughs> yes a little bit out here next epic liner by NYX I'm do a little you know, a little sun sun there. Okay, next I'm gonna use some blush and I'm using this Kat Von D color. Whoops. It's called Por Vida. A little dab of that, boom, right there. Big powder brush. I'm gonna just take a little bit of all these up here. Gosh, 
so like a boom, boom, boom. Tom Ford lip liner in color Extort, which is like my current new fave. So the lipstick I'm going to use is also Tom Ford. It's called Heavenly Creature. This is more like a, it's really chalky, like the consistency is kind of dry, so I'm just going to a little chapstick first. And now, this. Then I'm going to take the Pat McGrath Cyber Clear. And use it as lip gloss. Okay, so that is the look. Last um, thing I want to do is put my contacts on. So I use Celotica. I forget which color this is, but um, it's Celotica. I think it's a hydro core. Hyd I forget it. But um, 